Now, to uh, get some magical plugs that come out of nothing, I have a 400 watt inverter connected to some car batteries. They're actually deep cycle marine batteries. And those marine batteries are being charged by some solar panels, uh, but there's a charge controller thing in here that shuts off the shuts off the solar panels to the batteries uh, when they're full so it doesn't overcharge them and now this mess of wires this is all the all the positive wires coming from solar panels and this is all the negative wires coming from solar panels and the charge controller which had some assembly required um, has a you know an input for the solar panels uh, pl a positive and a negative, and then it has a positive and negative output output for the batteries. That's these two wires, so that goes to the uh, negative, and this other one goes over to the positive, and then it magically works, and my thing can work. Now, I've got a whole bunch of solar panels hanging out here. Here's one that was like in a car just to keep the um, the car battery from dying when it's sitting around, and here's another one. See, it has a little Volkswagen symbol on it. And those ones don't have that much power, but out here, outside, attached to a cliff is one of the bigger ones. I hope you can see that on the camera there. Um, and that one's like 65 watts, I think. And now we just got two other solar panels, and I haven't really put them up yet. So I put this one, it's another 65 watt solar panel. I just kind of strung it up on the inside. Because sun does come through that wall and it gets maybe a quarter of its rated power, which is fine until I actually, you know, set it up. I think I'm going to put them up on the roof. Uh, so, oh yeah. And a lot of the things inside the dome run off 12 volts, so they don't need the inverter. So, if you connect something directly to a car battery, it'll be 12 volts. And this is a 12 volt battery here, and there's one, and there's one over there. Um, you have to plug in a special thing to get wall out, wall socket outlets of 120 volts. But, you know, like any car accessories run off 12 volts. And, okay, this there's a fluorescent light over here in the ceiling. And that's like a car accessory I got. And I have a little, little switch over here by the door, which uh, makes it turn on. It's hard to tell how bright it is, but it works pretty well. It's just a fluorescent light. And then in here, this is the bathroom. There's another switch here, and these run off 12 volts too, and each one is 6 volts, so I had to put two of them together. Okay, not all right. And I just, I just string wires all over the place and put switches on stuff. Um, all right, I think that's it. Oh yeah, let me not forget my fancy radio. So I've got a little radio here that has two wires coming out to a little tiny solar panel right here. And it doesn't use a lot of electricity, so that little solar panel keeps it always charged. And let's see. So that, that radio just always works. I haven't messed with it in a couple of years, and I'm very happy about that. Okay, here's a quick overview. We've got solar panels with a positive and a negative coming out of it. Then we've got a charge controller. You can find those online uh, with the, the positive and negative inputs and then the positive and negative outputs that output the electricity that's correct for the battery, which shuts off the electricity so the battery doesn't get overcharged. Um, and then from the battery, you can run 12 volt items, accessories, or you can run your positive and negative right to an inverter and then get some wall sockets, 120 volts, so you can plug things in. And the solar panel costs $323, I believe, with shipping. Uh, this battery costs $70, if I remember correctly. And this was $40 at Target. You know, it's just like an inverter. People have them in their cars a lot. And there isn't much else to it. Anyone can do it. Oh, how foolish of me. I almost forgot because it's buried in my tools right now. But my exercise bike which has like a giant knife hanging off it and sweaters. But anyway, um, back here, I built this uh, stand for the bike to sit on, and it, which, um, what's that, a car alternator 
bolts into and then a belt goes around the wheel so when you pedal see it turns the car alternator down there now we all know what happens when car alternators turn they charge batteries um, and you actually have to push a little switch to get it to activate just like sticking your key in a car 